Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. And of course, as you come in, please smash that like button for your boy one time. Share the content with your friends, your family, your pastor, everybody. And of course, if you're here on YouTube, like I am right now, consider subscribing to the channel, especially if you like the content that I'm putting out. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Let me preface it for you. Years ago, Dave Chappelle did a special, right? I think it was at the Fillmore. He said, or he asked a question, rather, that was, don't you think, like, chivalry is dead? And everybody's like, yeah, chivalry is dead. He said, yes, chivalry is dead, and women killed it. Everybody was like, oh, men were laughing, cackling, ah, ah, ah. it was hilarious. It was seemingly prophetic because you look at these street interviews and it is straight madness. Even in the privacy of their homes, these women put up the most ridiculous content. And you just have to ask yourself, like, is this like a rigged reality? Am I living in reality? The answer, yes, you are. It is reality. You're seeing it right before your eyes. So please believe that shit and take it to heart because this is exactly what's happening. Let's take a look. Yeah, I know I don't tell no stories. So I made some money off my business. I'm out here in L.A., right? So I'm like, let me go treat myself. I go to Louis Vuitton. So I met this random man. He was like get whatever you want. So, you know what I mean? Just be lying. But, I, of course, I had my own money. I had a purse full of money. So, make a long story short, I got whatever I wanted, y'all. And I didn't even get his name or number. Like, how do I let a trick like that bypass me? But he tricked me if he got it. I ended up spending, like, $9,000. And I didn't get his number. Like, I'm so sad. If you see this TikTok, please, please, please give me a call. So, you saw that and heard that for yourself. Even had the receipt for her. Random man meets random woman spends nine grand at louis vuitton walks off doesn't know the man's name his phone number his instagram his email his aol nothing his mailing address something so now she's posting this tiktok because oh please get in touch with me why you already called him a trick oh but you want him to continue tricking on you so whose fault is it that this is happening is it the guy for spending nine grand on this random woman is it the woman for accepting it, right? Because who, you know, really gets hurt by it? Seemingly nobody, but it's out here on social media for everybody to consume. So any woman, right, that probably looks better than this woman right now is going to say to themselves, well, hmm, maybe I deserve to have nine grand spent on me at Louis Vuitton. Then they're going to be wanting the guy that they're with to do the same thing. Now do you see how the cycle of stupidity begins and continues and progresses to what you're seeing right now? But there's more. Shit, there's always more. What is your type? Like, what do you like physically? Rich. I said physically, not monetarily. Six foot one light skin. So let's say they're under six foot and they're rich. Does that help? Yeah. That helps? Mm -hmm. Duh. So how much does a guy need to make? And no matter what he makes, it matter of how he spend it. How should he spend it? On me. <laughs> so would you say you're an expensive person? Duh. Do you expect your man to pay all the bills? Duh. Your car payment, your hair, your nails, everything. everything. What is he doing if he's not paying for what I need to do? But if that's the case, what do you provide in return if he's paying for everything? Myself. <laughs> Period. Do you know how to cook? Yeah, I'm vegetarian. But I do not eat. Oh, yeah. She has lost a lot of her opportunity if she's saying vegetarian. But she's sexy. Drops mic. I'm done. Please. Go on. So she wanted her man to pay her car payment, all the bills, buy Prada bags and everything on her. And all she provides is herself. Just herself. And on top of that, she's, she cooks vegetarian? Delusional. Come on, honey. Be realistic here. Hey, y'all want a story time on how I met my baby dad. So my second baby dad was my first baby dad's stepdad. Huh? Keep up. My second baby dad was my first baby dad, stepdad. So uh, my second baby dad, which at the time was my boyfriend's mom, boyfriend. What? Ended up pregnant by my boyfriend. So with my son, dad. So I ended up pregnant by him. And we ain't about to listen to no more of this. You nasty. How do you not have any shame? That is my question. So tell me, thus far, out of the women that you have seen so far do they seem to be wife 
material. Is that what they strike you as? Mm. No. Is this somebody that you think that you can build a future with, bring home to your mother, your father, uh, maybe to the guys? Mm. No. So, wh what are we doing here? This woman actually says that she had a kid with a guy, right? The guy was doing her dirty, so she had a kid with the guy's stepfather. And actually, actually puts this out there, like, smiling face and everything. Like, you have to be off your meds. Like, seriously. Why are you not ashamed to actually put that out there? Well, like I said, they're bold. And they have their own standards and their own logic, which is why you have to have yours. You can't settle for mediocrity. That's that's a no no. Send this to someone who needs it. Hold, hold this L. What would you rate me on a scale of one to ten? Where do you work? This is what I do for work. Do you have money? What do you consider money? What kind of car do you drive? Tesla. X. Just answer the damn question. Three. S. Three. Here we go. Uh, 6.9. Okay, okay. If I had a Model S, 7.3. If I had a Model S, it, was 7 .3. it goes up that much. Yeah. Are you serious right now, bro? That little extra 1.3 seconds on the 6 go that much. Yeah. Well, can you do a 360 real quick? Outfit today? Okay. You know what? I, I give you a 6.5 as well. <laughs> Bro. Oh, yeah. That's a 6.5. Is that bad? That's bad. Did you give me a 6.5? That's different. How's it different? Men can't be tens. Men can't be tens, yeah. but women can be tens. Yes. How the f does that work? That's how it works. Can you elaborate why? I just don't want good things for men. <laughs> I want y'all to struggle as much as y'all can. Fight for every wow. fight for every win. Would you say you're worth a happy meal or a five-star dinner? Five-star dinner. Wrong. <laughs> So you heard that for yourself. Dude drives a Tesla. He's a YouTuber, obviously does pretty well. But because he didn't have the right model, his grade dropped. And she says, I don't want guys to do well. I want y'all to struggle. But you think as a man, somehow you're supposed to simp for these women. Like, make it make sense. Somebody, please. Now, I think I've shown you some pretty good examples of what and who you should stay away from. That's granted. That's given. Maybe I can show you a couple examples of the other direction, right? The other side of things. Let's take a look. I find comments like this one so hilarious because this is exactly one of the points I was trying to prove when I said that women are being pushed by society to pursue careers because it's exactly my point if i'm not trying to pursue a career they say that i'm lazy oh you lack ambition you're trying to mooch off of your husband you don't have any real dreams but if i were to say that i wanted to become a nanny or wanted to become a personal chef or wanted to open up a cleaning business i wouldn't have those same type of comments being made to me i'm sure people would be super supportive of it because i'm trying to pursue a career and i'm trying to better myself but they don't think that it's bettering yourself wanting to be selfless for your family and staying at home and taking care of the needs of the household and being there for those milestones for your children's life i know it's not affordable for everybody but i'm saying that desire there to be in the home and taking care and loving your husband and supporting him in those ways after a long day of work. I just see a beauty in that and that's sad that a lot of people don't anymore. There you have it. You know what you just witnessed? That was the right one. Whoever that guy is, count yourself lucky, bro. Like I said, it's a shortage of good women out here. I don't know if it's social media that has just rotted their brains or if it's a combination of social media, uh, single parent homes where the father wasn't present uh, over the past, let's say, three decades or so. Because it seems that people of a certain age, I mean, 20s, 30s, even some in their early to mid 40s, they have this mindset where like money is the driving force behind every decision they make. Don't talk about the person's morality. 
you know, if it's a good person that's going to be a good father to the kids, is going to do right by you. No. How much money is he making? Does he have a home? Does he have a business? Um, can I get the finer things in life? Can I fly here? Can I fly there? Right? This, I was, gonna, I was about to say it. This guy could be Jeffrey Dahmer. He, he got the money. He, he got the Lambo. He, he could be a serial killer. Oh, he got the money. He got the house. They don't care. These are their standards. Uh, so you have to now set yours. Let's see more. Truth be told, this clip right here exposes a problem that a lot of men have had in the past and are currently having, myself included among those. So pay attention to what she's saying. Very important. Here's some tea about a man. A man could sit around and play the field with you and act like your bestie for the resty for decades just to bust the boonies down and then dip after that. So for example, if you have a you know a significant other that's telling you, yo, something off about you know Richard or whatever, like I feel I feel that y'all been cool for years and all that. But every time I come around homeboy, I'm not getting platonic relationship vibes. Why are we sticking up for Richard? Oh, Richard would never do that. Richard's not even like that. Richard has a girlfriend. Clip it. Cut it. The same way as women, we have our intuition and we instinctively know if a girl is being funny, men can do the same thing. Men have like this radar that goes off. He, he would smack my girl. And sometimes we don't have that and that's okay. So why are we arguing with our significant other about a, a, a replaceable individual? Make it make sense. Pack Richard up. I ain't gonna lie. She's cute. Do you see when she grabbed the booby? I was like, ooh. And she did the voice change too? Shit. If it was me, I'm not gonna lie. If it was me, and I know she's single, and I got an info, this is me right here. She gonna be okay, everything will go away once she gets some dick. You do shit on purpose to get my attention, I know this pussy better when she mad as hell. So hopefully by now, you got the picture. There are clear differences between, you can see it for yourself, between the women that you should choose and the women that you shouldn't choose. There's basically two different kinds. The kinds that have a mindset where, right, what the guy says and does and how he takes care of family, all this stuff is important to me. The other kind is, well, it's money and what he drives and his social status and that is not the good basis to build a family on. And it's obvious why, right? Diaper bag, Louis bag. Now it's up to you. If you a dude that doesn't want to have children and you just want to be out here, you want to be blowing money on some chick that looks good, uh, fake boobs, fake uh, booty, eyelashes, the baby hairs, uh, that's on you can't tell grown folk what to do. That's entirely on you. If you a dude, however, that wants to create legacy, right? Have a bunch of little kids with your last name coming up in the world to represent you after you're long gone, you're looking for something different. Trust and believe. The person that you have these children with is going to be key in seeing that legacy successful. Let me leave you with this piece of information, just in case you think I'm bullshit. Listen to what these women have to say. The men who know they work, because that just, it's aggravating. Ladies, don't kill me for this, but women hate for a man to know his worth. So we don't like that shit. Nick come around thinking he know his worth. Oh, he too good for this, he too good for that. A man that know his worth ain't gonna let us play with him. And I don't like that. I, me personally, I don't like that. Nigga, I need you to come around not knowing. I don't like men who like know that worth. Like, <laughs> I hate y'all. I hate men who know their worth. They be like, I don't gotta deal with girl shit. As a woman, dealing with a man who knows his worth is literally like the most like humbling experience ever because he will literally cut your ass off. You can't make this shit up. So, to recap, what have we established? There's a bunch of dudes out here simping hard, 
women are call them tricks. There's a bunch of women out there being gold diggers. It is what it is. What else have we established? You need to have standards. You have to. There's no way that you can get into a relationship and don't have standards that have to be met. And the same should be vice versa. This person has a request of you for you to meet certain things. You have that same request as well. Oh, you can't meet it? All right, application denied. Sorry. <clears throat> That's it. Know your worth. You saw it for yourself. A lot of these women, they don't like you knowing that you're valuable. All right, this world is basically running on men, right? The guys who power entire cities, work in the sewers, right? I was in Jersey a few days ago, past this huge construction site. It was raining cats and dogs. I'm on a train. You know, I looked outside, you know what I saw? I didn't see not one woman working that entire construction site. As huge as it was, you know, and I'm looking down there because obviously this stuff is floating in my mind sometimes, even before I put it down in the video. So I'm looking out there, you know, I have my camera seeing if I could catch a glimpse of one woman. Not a one. But these guys are the patriarchy somehow. They're holding you back and trying to hold you down and keep you from rising up. That's BS. That's all it is. It's BS. I already gave you all the info you need. All you need to do now is, if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, hit all notifications, and the next time I drop a video, you'll know for sure. Like the video for the YouTube algorithm because, you know, videos like this, eh, YouTube ain't really having it, right? They're more of that woke agenda type. And me personally, I ain't with it. Of course, share it with everybody you know. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.